Hello guys, welcome. What's a show without Christian Ochara? And yes, it's Talk the Talk with Christian Ochara. Guys, I saw your engagement in the last episode. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. But well, trust me, I get the touches for now. Today should go. <laughs> Are you ready, guys? So, of course, with me sitting here as my guest today are fantastic actors. Yes, on my left is Alex Cross. Formerly Alex Cross, now Alex <laughs> Chikwebuka Ajoko. Pardon me if I pronounce it wrong. <laughs> then on my right, oh, damn goodness, Jennifer Obodo, guys. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, what's up? What's up? Okay, starting with um Jennifer. What's up? Oh, starting with me. Okay, I'm yeah. good. My name is Jennifer Obodo. Okay. I am a Hollywood actress or yeah. actor, anyone you call it. Mm -hmm. I am a fashion designer. Mm -hmm. I am an interior designer. Only one person. Yeah, it's just one person. <laughs> I love money, so mm, okay. <laughs> Obviously, then on my left. Alex. Um, guys, you already know. My name is Alex Chukwebuka Ajoko, aka Alex Cross, the only one. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, only film of Nollywood. You're talking, you're talking, you're talking. Only film of Nollywood. So now, now I'll start. I'll start with um, um, Jennifer. So tell, tell me, for how long have you been in this game, the acting game, and what's the experience like for you? Just briefly. Okay. Um, for me, I will say I've been in the industry for three years consistency actually i was in i was in the game i left and i came back so i'll say wow. three years and what else yeah so how's the experience been for you the so journey? far so good not easy but we thank god nice mm -hmm. nice and alex okay um so i've been in this industry for six years wow um wow. let's wow. say um two years of in and out then mm -hmm. consistently like four years and it's been a roller coaster it's been quite challenging. I wouldn't say it's difficult because it's my talent. It's what I love doing. Yeah. So I've just tried to be relevant. I've just tried to add value to yeah. my craft. So yeah. for a short while, I would just say it's been challenging and interesting. It's just, yeah. it's a beautiful place to be. Yeah. I don't know about all this before me, it's a beautiful place to be. Mm -hmm. So now speaking of um, challenges and all of that, what's the challenges like for you guys in London the gigs? In the industry and um, what's it like in staying um, consistent and landing these jobs like is there anything you want to talk about no the, the first thing are? is passion if you don't have passion for it i'm sorry you cannot be here mm. the passion will keep you because mm -hmm. you get frustrated you would want to give up so the passion is the main thing mm. alex oh okay um i will just um add up to what she said the truth is, so there's something somebody once told me. He said that once you rest, there's a thousand of there's a thousand and one persons behind you mm -hmm. that are willing to take your place. Mm -hmm. So I would just say the only challenge is just keep being consistent. Just hold on to this thing. Because mm -hmm. the truth is, when you begin to think you're fine, there are people that are finer than you. Actually. Mm -hmm. When you begin to think you're tall, there are people that are taller than you. Yeah. Uh, as you can see, Mr. Christian is taller than I am. <laughs> um, so uh, like and others. So <laughs> when you think you have your voice, there are people that have the voices. Yes, yeah. Yeah. So the only thing that keeps you is relevant in this yeah. craft, your talent, how good are you? Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. So that's, that, to me, that's the challenge. So yeah. you just need to show that you're important mm -hmm. to a producer or to somebody out there or something so that they can always reach out to you. Awesome, yeah. awesome. So quick on Jennifer, I yes, I am going to say this, not even a research because I was on set with you, truth or dare, <laughs> currently showing on the cinemas. So what's the experience like you working with the likes of Okun of Lagos, Zako G, Nelson, Igonsu, Uche Montana, many other casts. They of course, are I know all we all set together though. Amazing, yeah. like sweet people to work with. Okay. You know, one thing with this industry is the energy you get on mm -hmm. set, the vibe. If you don't get that good energy, that good vibe, I'm sorry, it will yeah, kill your character. Okay. Without the vibe, I am so sorry, there is nothing you can do. You will not give your best. Right. But when you're acting with your fellow actors that are good and they give you that good vibe, I'm sorry, you won't even know when you're like, oh, wow, so did I just do this? I know, you know, you know there are some actors also that... that um, some persons you feel like okay they have this negative energy on set so how do you deal with them well one thing i've always told myself is forget about people and do you mm. you can never there is no way on this earth you can make me uncomfortable no matter who you are mm. when i'm coming out to work i come out to work because i want to work and it's my job That's so true. even if you give me that negative vibe i'm sorry i'm not seeing it <laughs> so i do me 
<laughs> but speaking of speaking mm. of that, um, Alex, do you think such negative vibe can hinder performance on sets? Okay. Such um, negative energy. Okay, do you think um, it has a factor in affecting the performance? Like, do you expect the performance to be a certain way, but this energy is just trying to limit the performance that you know you should have given on a norm? Yes. And how do you tend to tackle them? Okay, um, quick one. So the truth is, in acting, um, it's called make-believe. And you can't make believe with a negative vibe. You can't. Mm -hmm. It's it's difficult. You it to make one of one person struggle. Actually, it to make it to make one person struggle. So when people come together as actors and mm -hmm. they have a connection, they have a connective vibe, they cheer, they talk together, they laugh. Mm -hmm. It's easier to what, interpret roles. Mm -hmm. It's easier to make people believe that oh, this is looking real. Mm -hmm. But once there's a negative vibe or somebody somebody is dragging, pulling because there's something called pull down. I mean, when you get to pull down the effort of your other characters, it doesn't flow anymore. So that's like one of the major challenges we get to see on, in Nollywood, basically. Yeah. But once artists get to flow and everything just gets to move, it makes the movie looking easy, sweet, interesting. Yeah. Right, yeah. right, right. As much as I would love us to talk about some other things, uh, just quick one, let's digress a bit. Okay. So I came across this um, tweet online. Arise um, television TV host Hosseini Rufai, he tweeted, he said, let's debate. Is it possible to love and still cheat on the one you love? <laughs> so what are your opinions? I'll go, okay, ladies first. Ladies first, <laughs> ladies, <laughs> ladies, no, ladies first. I want to hear what she's going to say. No, no, no. No. I'll, I'll choose. Ladies yeah, first, actually. Yeah, <laughs> Not say this one. Oh, the spirit. No way. The spirit is bringing to him. No. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Okay. Um. So I would say yes. I would say yes. Yeah. Um, so you are saying so yes, it's possible uh, to love and still cheat on the one you love. Yes, my yes is relative. Okay. Let me let me explain. So I don't know if you're. There's something about being a man. Okay. Um. So let me. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, you've been in that situation. Let me digress a little. Alex, you don't so, love cheating. No, no. <laughs> see, no, I'm a simple man by nature. Okay. I'm a loyal guy. Okay. And right now, I'm not in a relationship. So. Oh, you're single. Yeah, yeah I'm single. Oh, I'm single. So He's single. I'm it's, 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 uh, uh, well, let's say Shut I'm up. searching. He's searching. Uh, 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 not to uh, Alex and uh, here, guys. <laughs> so continue. All right, um, so, I don't know if you've... I, I, over the years, I've understood, understood something. A man can go out have fun, I want to call it fun, perhaps do something with the lady. If he's married, he can still let the person know he's married and he doesn't joke with his wife. Mm. Now, that is letting you know he loves his wife. His wife is his peace of mind. I'm just having fun. Mm -hmm. So I believe somebody can be in love and maybe out of fun, just do something. I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying it can happen. Mm. Yes, you can love somebody. For for we are just a man now. You can have your wife at home. She's your peace of mind and everything. But out there, perhaps with the friends, with the yeah. guys, and something just comes up. Do you want to do yeah, you, you just do something. But it doesn't still mean that you don't love your wife because you're coming back to your peace of mind. Mm. I'm, I'm coming back to this. Yeah. Let's hear from you your own opinion. So, is it possible to love and still cheat on the one you love? Starting with, have you been in that situation before? I actually haven't. Okay. I do not. Are you sure? One hundred percent. Ah. <laughs> I'm a one woman, one man. We see okay. Alex is I don't like tantrums. cheating. Okay. I'm a jealous lover, so yeah. you must not cheat on me, and I won't cheat on you. Okay. But if you cheat on me, I'll cheat back. Wow, uh, uh, that's basketball. So, guys, um, <laughs> okay, <laughs> back to this question, <laughs> Bill. Um, I think it's possible. Like, I had a conversation with my friend this morning, okay. and we were talking about loving two people. Mm -hmm. um, I would say, for guys, I think it is possible for a guy to love two women. Mm. It is possible. They yeah. can love their wife and still love their side chick. Side chick okay. They can love their girlfriend and still love another girlfriend so and case, treat you, them you, accordingly. You support it? Are you in I don't support it. Okay. I do not support it because you're deceiving yourself. Okay. You understand? So, but I think, I think it is possible for a man to love two women, but it is not possible for a woman to love two men. Lies. That's I was waiting for that because I was about to ask the question now. So, it is not possible. See, now this is where I'm going to now. I can't tell me now that 
you can have your husband and have that very sweet guy that actually, let's say, makes you feel like a lady. Are you, going, are you trying to, what are you trying to let me know that, that it's possible for you to love your side guy and still love your husband? For, I said for men. Oh, men can why love you? two women, but a woman cannot. If, for example, she's married and she has a side guy, and that side, side guy is giving her all the attention she, she needs. needs, automatically she'll start drifting away somehow from her husband. If you have a boyfriend and you have another guy giving you that, okay, you, 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 you want somebody to always talk to and this other guy is there. You want somebody to always be there for you. This other guy is there. Those things your main boyfriend are not doing no, and another guy is doing it. You're, you will automatically, okay. like, there is no way, there is no two ways about it. But you're missing you're out. You're missing out. You're missing out. Okay, guys. So, <laughs> so, my tie chip this in. Um, there's this lady I was having a conversation with okay. and um, she said, She's in love. She's madly in love. But she cheats on a, on a man because of material things. It's just there. And she can't help it. But she doesn't because, love because the other person. Because a man likes not give her the trips, the vacations, yes. the luxury. No. That shows she's forced to cheat on him. But she still loves the guy. She mm. can't treat him for anything else. But yeah, that's what I'm impossible. saying. That's what you're saying. Yeah, that's what I'm, what I'm no. saying is, a woman cannot love two people, but she can cheat on the one she loves. It's the same thing that what I just talked about. A man. Yeah. I just talked about it as a man too. That men have side chicks, but they will literally but tell you, you that. Love that don't, one. Yes, don't you come to my wife? Of course. They okay. will let you know that this, I have, this is my I am loving this banter, guys. So <laughs> on your screen, let's get some of some reactions from some persons who responded mm -hmm. via the tweet. So one says, showing right in front of his screen, one um, your screen that for Abiola he said, "I don't believe in the word cheating. We are polygamists in Africa before the colonialists." <laughs> And in the, the introduction of Christianity religion, if a man can handle two women under the same roof or separate roofs, provided he does his due and provide for both, I don't think it's a sin. It is a sin. Then Linda Ajayi said, mm -hmm. to love a person is to give it all in and be committed to them. Okay. This does not mean you would or cannot be tempted by others who seemingly look better than your partner. That is where discipline yeah. and contentment comes in. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. But still, hold on, but still. I think I understand the path in which the first person yeah. is coming from. Okay. The truth is, so there's this saying, if you are going to cheat on somebody, mm. or if you feel you're going to have fun, legally do it. Mm. That's, see, I know like in old times, I visit to elderly men, they tell you, they say these things, that instead of perhaps going out of your matrimonial home to do things, bring if you want to bring, bring in a person, have a have a conversation with your wife. With your wife. Bring the person. Like having a third party. Exactly. Like, like, like having, let's just be plain. I like the blood. Like having a threesome. Exactly. No, not a threesome. It's a threesome. You're bringing the third party. No. Wife sits Are you bringing the person I'm bringing the wife. I'm talking about bringing the person, bringing person legally. Person okay, legally. Yeah, okay, legally. Yes. Mm. Wife. Yes. yes. Okay, yes. Wife. That's where the person is talking about polygamy. Okay. Because, yeah, Africa is the polygamy. Exactly. Yes. That's what I'm talking yes. about. Yes. If that's the way you can do it rightly, do it rightly. Then on the second part, which the lady said, it is true. The truth is, whoever you're with, there's somebody better, finer, of course, sweeter of than course. who the person is. Now, this is where discipline comes, comes in. in. If I am in love with you, I need to be with you regardless of anything. Mm -hmm. Whatever I see outside, whatever is coming my way, whatever gifts, material thing is coming my way, whatever thing they are flaunting around my face, I am in love with this person. Mm. Mm. Nice yes, one, nice one. So. Do you have anything to chip in or to say mm, about well, that? Well, I, I think I agree with him, yeah. Mm. I so do guys, we've come to the end of this, guys. So <laughs> I'd like to hear your own <laughs> opinion via the comment section below. Is it possible to be in love and to cheat on your partner? And, and I need to please, hear your own can I opinion. say something? Okay. Um, guys, can you guys just stop saying men are polygamous in nature okay. and you guys have the right to cheat? There okay. is nothing like you having the right to cheat. If you want to cheat, be single. Do not have a girlfriend like or do me. not have a wife. Do whatever you want to do. Mm. Then if you must cheat, cheat mm -hmm. with, your full, with chest. your full chest. Then if you're going to cheat, then allow your spouse to cheat. <laughs> I am loving this guys. Mm. As much as I would love to continue this conversation, <laughs> I'll leave it open to you guys to dissect and bisect whatever <laughs> it is on the comment section down below. So guys, I am dying to hear your respective opinion. Is it possible to still be in love and still cheat on your partner? Do not forget to follow Alex 
and Jennifer on their social media handles showing right in front of your screen. But yeah. just cut see tell them on Instagram, you are I am underscore Alex Cross. And yes. Jennifer, you are Jennifer Obodo Official. And of course, tell them, are you up to um, anything? Are you expecting the projects coming on that you want the audience to move your fans? Uh, anyways, they always see that we always drop updates on your social you always expect mm -hmm. movies exactly. are coming and, out. Um, Jennifer, same. Thanks. So, guys, you've heard, and of course, on my own social media platform, do follow me. Do keep in touch, showing right in front of your screen. Guys, do not forget to subscribe. Do not forget to share, guys. Keep watching. Talk the talk with your favorite right host. Oh, watch your Kristen. Watch your Until next episode, guys. I'm signing out. Ciao.